Hey, what's up everyone? How we doing? For months and months now, hackers have been an issue plaguing Warzone, and basically they've been ruining the game. But luckily, a new companion app has been released by Overwolf, which helps people who use it to identify whenever a suspected hacker is in their lobby. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to install the companion app and show you how you can use it to spot suspected hackers in your current game's lobby. Unfortunately, this is only available on PC, but for console players, there's a website called SBMM Warzone that does a similar thing, which I'll link to in the description. Or you could always just try turning crossplay off, which will help you to avoid those PC hackers. This can be done through Warzone's game settings on PlayStation or through your actual console settings on Xbox. If this video does help you out at all, please make sure to leave a like on it. And if you're not already, then consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty related videos. Now let's get amongst it. To kick things off, you'll find a link in the description to a website where you can download the Warzone Companion app. Just hit download and once it's completed, you'll need to run the .exe file. From here, the installer will open up. You just need to select your language and then hit next. Now it's completely up to you where you want to install the program and whether you want to install shortcuts onto the desktop. I just left mine to the default and created a shortcut for the companion app on my desktop. Make sure to hit the check mark so you agree to the terms and conditions, click on next, and then it will begin to download and install the program. Once completed, the application will auto launch and you'll have to either link your Activision account by launching Warzone itself through Battle.net or you can enter your info manually. Once it's linked your account, you'll see this window pop up which will show you a bunch of your in-game stats both for Battle Royale, Plunder and even the stats of people that you're friends with. There are three tabs that you'll be able to view in-game. One will be your basic stats along the bottom of the screen the other will be a tab that displays the kill count of yourself and other players in that lobby. And the third is the main companion app screen that we're seeing at the moment. All of these can be turned on and off using keybinds. And in the settings options of the main uh, dashboard is where you can manually change these keybinds to whatever you'd like them to be. Now that's all set up. Once you jump into a game and it starts, you'll be able to use the keybind that you've set to open up the main dashboard. This will display a ton of information about the players in the lobby, including kill death ratio, score per minute, average placements, and also statistically which teams are the best within your current lobby. Along the top of this, you'll notice that there's a section that shows suspected cheaters. And in short, that's how you're going to be able to see and avoid players who are potentially cheating or using hacks. This app will also keep track of those cheaters, so if you wanted to go back and have a look after you've gotten the hell out of that game, you can do so. Finding hackers aside, this is actually a really cool app that you can use to see how you stack up against other teams in the lobby as a game starts, and also to keep on top of your Warzone stats. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to help out. And also, if you do try this app out for yourself, I'd love to hear if you found it useful and if you've managed to use it to avoid hackers because of it. Like I say, if you've found some value, please make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you're not already, consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with my other Call of Duty related videos. That about wraps things up for this video. I'll catch you next time and take it easy.